Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Andrei. <clears throat> In this video episode, I'll talk about uh, file upload with Fast API, <clears throat> and I'll explain <clears throat> how you can effectively <clears throat> upload the file uh, <clears throat> to your API application, uh, <clears throat> and uh, then you would be able to use this file inside uh, your API endpoint custom logic uh, without uh, storing uh, file uh, physically. Uh, explicitly on disk, but uh, uh, by using uh, uh, basically a temporary file uh, implementation so that when the file is not used anymore, then it will be automatically removed. And <clears throat> in my use case, I'm using this in Sparrow, uh, specifically a uh, file uh, is uploaded like an image file, for example, or a PDF file, and this image file is being sent to OCR for processing, and uh, when we get back the text, te text result, then the original file is automatically removed. Okay, so <clears throat> here we see <clears throat> the API, and this is the fast API endpoint method. <clears throat> called ingest and we get here upload file uh, so this is the uh, basically the, the variable which describes that uh, API endpoint supports file upload and we're using upload file from fast API and then uh, it automatically through this endpoint we can send the file uh, file to the path basically and uh, then the file will be handled out of the box and then in this case we call run from API ingest method and this is here and what we do we create temporary directory and then uh, we get the we get we get hold of the file which is coming through fast API and we are uh, saving this file into the te temporary directory and then as soon as we are inside this block where temporary directory was initiated or created then <coughs> we'll have access to this temporary file but as soon as we exit this block, then uh, basically this directory will be automatically removed for us. And here we construct the path to the temporary file and pass it to the uh, run ingest method. And then inside run ingest we called load documents and here we're using llama index uh, simple directory reader and for the input files parameter we specify the file path and this points to the uh, temporary file and uh, llama index is reading this file and then we construct the embeddings and, and so on and then and then file will be removed from the temporary directory automatically. And this is how it works through Common prompt, we pass uh, ingest flag here, we pass uh, reference to the file, execute, and then uh, based on this path, uh, in this case, it's, it's not going obviously through fast API, it just, uh, 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 it's, it runs locally because it runs through the script, but exactly the same approach is uh, using, is done through fast API application. So over here, we can see that fast API application is running. And if I execute the uh, request to the fast API application, I pass uh, the same way like I did through CL uh, CLI. I, I pass the path for the file, and here I do the same. And then this file uh, will be uploaded through fast API to the server. On the server, it will be stored uh, in a temporary directory, and we'll, we'll use the path to this file for the further processing. And then the processing is done, and temporary directory is removed, and file is gone. Okay, so we execute the API request in this case. It was executed, and then we see that uh, data was ingested and index was created. Yeah, okay, and this works quite well. And actually what I did also this week, I tested uh, uh, VAVIAT integration with Haystack and it worked very smoothly. And in order for VAVIAT to work with uh, uh, Haystack, we, you need to import VAVIAT document store. You need to install with pip uh, uh, VAVIAT Haystack and then uh, once you initialize document store for VAV8, you pass the URL of the instance where, you, where VAV8 instance is running. 
and it's important to pass through collection settings class name, which can be like basically either class name or index name, and this will allow you to uniquely identify the collection for the current document that's uh, for the embeddings for the current document you're storing in VAV8. So this means if you'll upload another document, then you should use another unique name for the document and uh, there'll be two separate collections stored in VAV8. And later when you'll run uh, inference, you'll be able to refer by this name and get the embeddings that you actually want to execute and from where you want to get some answer. So this way you'll be able to map uh, ingest step with the inference step. Okay, so in this case, uh, <clears throat> I show you how you can upload the file through uh, fast API and how you could uh, effectively use uh, temporary directory to store the uh, temporary file like in this place here and then we get the complete path for this temporary file and uh, access this uh, file in, in, in other third-party libraries and then as soon as everything is done we exit from the temporary directory block and uh, it's being removed automatically for us so thanks for watching and see you next time bye